Hello everyone, <clears throat> welcome to this uh, lecture. In this lecture, in this uh, set of lectures, we'll see uh, the topics from unit 4 along with the tutorial problems. Uh, so in class we have discussed about the gain uh, about inverting and non-inverting non amplifier configurations. So in this lecture we'll see some of the applications of op-amp. Before starting we'll just look at the virtual ground concept. So as you know, uh, if uh, this is the op-amp symbol and uh, uh, the notation given for inverting and non-inverting terminals are V1 and V2 and output as V0 and A is nothing but the open loop gain of the op-amp A. Now, <clears throat> yeah, so uh, I can write V2 minus V1 into A is nothing but the output voltage. So for an open loop configuration, output voltage can be written as V2 minus V1 multiplied by A. Or in that case, I can write V2 minus V1 as V0 by A. And now if A is equal to infinity, V2 minus V1 will be equal to 0 or V2 is equal to V1. That is nothing but the virtual ground property whenever I am considering uh, op-amp with the infinite open loop gain. That is nothing but the ideal characteristics of op-amp. So uh, with that, if I derive the uh, gain of the inverting amplifier configuration by writing a KCL at this particular node, I can consider a current here. The same current is flowing through here. So I can write VI minus, so by virtual ground, if this is at 0, this will be also at 0. So VI minus 0 by RI is equal to 0 minus RF, 0 my, minus V0 by RF. So if I write that, I will get this expression V0 by VI as minus RF by RI. Uh, so this is the ideal uh, gain. This is the gain of the inverting amplifier if I am considering open loop gain of the op amp as infinity. Now, uh, if you see the finite open loop gain, or if I consider the gain of the op-amp is not infinite, it is not the ideal case, if it is having some finite open loop gain, uh, then also I should know what is the gain of the inverting amplifier configuration. So, for that, uh, I have taken the same uh, principle from here. Uh, for an op-amp, V2 minus V1 into A is equal to V0. So, here, in this case, my V2 is equal to 0. So, I can write V2 minus V1 into A is 0. So, 0 minus V1 into A is equal to V0. So, I will get V1 as minus V0 by A. So, this potential I will get. The potential at V1 as minus V0 by A. Uh, yeah. So, so uh, the this concept, if A is infinity, uh, the, the, the 0 voltage at here, this uh, V2 and V1 both will be at 0. Since A is not infinity, uh, V1 need not to be at 0. So the V1 potential is nothing but V0 by A, minus V0 by A. So by the same uh, thing what we have done before, if I write a KCL at this particular node 1, the current through Ri and Rf both are same. If I write the expressions, I will get uh, Vi minus V1 by Ri is equal to V1 minus V0 by Rf. So if I solve it, uh, therefore V1 I can substitute minus V0 by A. If I substitute and do this calculations, you will get the gain expression as minus Rf by Ri divided by 1 plus 1 plus Rf by Ri by A. So this is the gain of the op-amp when the uh, open loop gain is, uh, when I am considering A with a finite value. Now in the same expression, if you substitute A as infinity, you will get this term as 0. So V0 by Vi is nothing but minus Rf by Ri, that is what we derived before. So what we have seen here is, Inverting amplifier, uh, gain expression when considering A as infinity and gain expression when A is finite value. So we obtained both uh, expressions for voltage gain as this. Now we look at a set of problems in the tutorial. All are related to what we have discussed now. The first question is, uh, an inverting amplifier using an ideal op-amp uses resistors with X percentage tolerance. Determine the tolerance of realized closed loop gain and the nominal closed loop gain is minus 75 and x is equal to 5. Find the range of gain values expected in such a circuit. So, uh, what you can do here is it is given that it is an ideal, uh, it is an inverting amplifier using an ideal op amp. So, I have drawn the uh, circuit for an inverting amplifier, uh, but it is given that the resistors used are with x percentage tolerance. So both resistors are with x percentage tolerance. So 
Now instead of Ri, there is a x percentage tolerance. So what I have written is Ri plus or minus x by 100 into Ri. Similarly, uh, both resistors are having some x percentage tolerance. Now, question is to determine the tolerance of the realized closed loop gain. So the closed loop gain of the op amp, since it is given that ideal op amp, the inverting amplifier using an ideal op amp, I can consider gain as infinity. So I can take this expression for the closed loop gain minus Rf by Ri. Now here both Rf and Ri are with x percentage tolerance. So now if you have a um, ratio, if you find, if you want to find the percentage error of the ratio, here the tolerance is nothing but the percentage error. If you want to find that, you should add the percentage error of the numerator and percentage error of the denominator. Now both Rf and Ri both having uh, x percentage tolerance. So the total uh, tolerance of the closed loop gain should be x per the numerator is having x percentage denominator is having x percentage so you can write the tolerance as 2x percentage the tolerance of the uh, circuit or the tolerance in gain is nothing but uh, 2x percentage now in the same question uh, it is given that uh, some values are given it is given that the closed loop gain is minus 75 and x is equal to 5 find the range of the gain values in such a circuit so given that af is minus 75 and x is equal to 5 how to obtain the range of gain values yeah so af is having some tolerance what is the tolerance 2x percentage so af is having 2x percentage tolerance of af so af plus or minus 2x percentage into af given that af is minus 75 so what i can do is either you can take the minus sign here or finally you can add the minus sign so uh, 75 plus or minus x is 5 so 5 into 10 10 percentage 10 by 100 so it is 7.5 so you should add 75 plus 7.5 and 75 minus 7.5 both with a minus sign so the range of the uh, gain value is nothing but minus 82.5 to minus 67.5 since it is a non-inverting amplifier yeah so i'll stop in this uh, stop here in this lecture i'll continue in the next lecture with the other two problems so instead of writing and recording what i have done is after writing i'm just um, adding the audio so that even uh, the videos will be shorter so please uh, watch the video and if you have any doubts uh, get me back thank you